Hi guys! So today I am going to make clay charms in bulk. I already made this. Oops, I hope you can see it. Let me just focus it for you. Okay, I already made this Oreo. I did a lot. So I just decided to use air dry clay because as you all know polymer clay is like um it's super hard and firm that i have to like excess a lot of effort in um mixing and oh sorry <laughs> mixing it and molding it so i decided to switch on to using like air dry clays like this like you can just squish it very easily it's just because i find it really hard to make a lot of clay charms with polymer clay and i'd like to show you how my finger looks right now i don't know if you guys can see it but as you can notice this one is bigger than the other one because um i have been using polymer clay for 11 years now and yeah i use this finger most of the time and i have to mold the clay using my hands and this finger is the most uh, used one so it became like this <laughs> i don't hate it i don't hate it though because it's like an artist mark for me but sometimes it really hurts and it's just very difficult for me to make a lot of charms using polymer clay and i just wanna you know, I don't want to lose my finger. <laughs> yeah. Well, there are also some projects which um, I cannot use like uh, air dry clay. So I still use polymer clay for those projects like this one. It's super small and it needs to have like super tiny details. Sometimes air dry clays cannot be used to make super tiny details because in making tiny details you need to like um, take your time and sometimes air dry clays dry quickly so yeah
Hi friends, it's me again. Here's what I finished so far in four days. I have Oreos and then I have sprinkles. I also have the strawberries. Here are the cute bears and bunny. I have desserts here and these are the ripped up bases. And my favorite is this sleeping bunny in pancake. when you are going to make like bulk charms or clay charms is that um, you have to make it in batches like for example I made this all first it it just gave me like a sense of accomplishment every time I see or finish something and it refreshed my mind into like you know the feeling of you are you have done something great and then you just want to jump on to the next project it feels like that for me so that's what i do i finish charms in batches first i made like i finish all the bears and the bunnies and then move on to the next even though they're not fully finished yet i just feel like i accomplished something and it makes me excited to um, start with the next one so I finished digging on the bears to the Oreos and ta-da <laughs> here's what they look like right now but they're not quite done yet because I have to put on frosting and the sprinkles on them so let's hop on So I just finished all the Oreo pins or charms. Now I am moving on to making this. I already prepped the bases because as I've said, I work in batches. So I've already prepared the bases and right over there as you can see i already prepared all the stuff that will be put in here so i have the macarons the ice cream um some chocolate chip cookies and this 
tiny strawberries.
hello guys first i'd like to thank you all for watching my video i appreciate you guys so much um before i end this video i just want to share something very heartwarming and something that really made me happy a few days ago someone sent me this really cute voice message and i hope you guys can hear it too so So cute, right? You don't know how happy you, I am when I heard this video. And I just want you guys to know that I appreciate every one of you, every comment, every view, every messages. I really love them and it made me more motivated and I feel like I can do this forever. You know, so thank you so much and I see you, I'll see you on my next vlog. Bye!